The alarm, the beep, the buzz, the ding, the notification, the text, the DM, the IM, Wall Street, pandemics, Facebook, Instagram, and you haven't even gotten out of bed yet. Be careful, because your next move will decide the fate of the rest of your day. What will you do next? Well, Tony Robbins has the answer. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering the science of manually controlling your fight or flight mechanism called priming. This technique was made popular by the great Tony Robbins, but has been in use for millennia in things like mindfulness and yoga and other kinds of breathing techniques. So we're gonna dive in and find out how it works and why we should do it. So first of all, if you don't have an extra 10 minutes a day, if you need to zap fry your pop tarts before you head out the door, you might wanna loosen up your schedule. One of the biggest factors in our life is how we begin our day. Looks like someone got up on the wrong side of the bed. I gotta get out of here, I think I'm gonna lose it. Uh-oh, sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. What most people don't know is that as soon as they wake up, their body is actually flooded with cortisol. Their adrenal glands are pumping, and what happens is that as it gets into your bloodstream, you actually get dosed with a microdose of adrenaline, helping you to wake up. However, once we are awake, we actually don't need the effects of adrenaline anymore for every single decision that we make that day. Ah! Cortisol is the hormone responsible for causing that fight or flight responsive actions in the body. Cortisol production and dissemination is controlled by the oldest part of your cognitive functions known as the limbic cortex, or more affectionately known as your lizard brain. When this part of your brain takes over and it overrides your rational thinking, uh, it overrides your prefrontal cortex, right? This process is where the limbic overrides the prefrontal cortex and is a reaction that's known as emotional hijacking. The chemical that causes you to become, well, I mean, just not your best self and all of a sudden is just flooded with cortisol. Control the cortisol, save the day. When we are emotionally hijacked by a flood of cortisol, we tend towards one of three responses, fight, flight, or freeze. This is the problem with our phones, beeping, buzzing, dinging, and notifying, and yes, hijacking our emotions the second we wake up in the morning. So when we wake up already with cortisol, it's a trajectory that's already there, but then we reach for our phones, and what we're actually doing is causing a surge of cortisol beyond what we need to wake up, and we're actually giving up emotional control of the day over to our phones. Now here's some links uh, all around here that cover cell phone use and cortisol and from the New York Times, Psychology Today. And if you really wanna geek out here, there's a medical journal over here citing cell phone use and elevated cortisol levels. So what is the issue then? Well, since we can't get rid of our phones, believe me, I've tried, we can figure out how to deal with them in our lives. So we've isolated that cortisol production is the issue at hand with kind of making our days go out of control. So now we have to do is figure out how to address that singular aspect and then use something to measure it to see if we're getting better. So remember guys, what is measured can actually be improved upon. So now let's get into the actual science behind Tony Robbins' priming technique to see why it's not just metaphysical hocus pocus chicanery. So here's the science breakdown. The secret in priming begins with our breathing deeply for three minutes. The medical journal Frontiers in Psychology published an article showing the effects of diaphragmatic breathing on attention, negative affect, or being pissed off, and the stress in healthy adults and what happens if you breathe deeply and intentionally using your diaphragm. So not hyperventilating through your chest, like, but deeply through your diaphragm or stomach. So this study had two groups, a breathing intervention group, known as the BIG, and a control group, CG. The BIG received intensive training for 20 sessions over eight weeks at a rate of four deep breaths per minute. And the results are really powerful. I mean, they're not surprising, but the breathing intervention group had a decrease in negative affect or mood or being pissed off. Also, more importantly, the breathing, uh, the breathing group also had significantly lower cortisol levels after training. So there were three main benefits that were shown by the study. The first is that the resting breathing rate decreased in the big group from an average of 10 breaths per minute to just under five, while the control group actually remained at right around 15 breaths per minute. So second, the negative affect here was shown to have decreased by 14%. That means 14% less of a jerk 
during your day. I think your employees, your spouse will all just love that. Uh, thirdly, uh, they also had to take a numeric cancellation test, which is used to kind of check your baseline attention span. And the, the average person's intention was actually improved by 18%. So finally, the hardcore physical chemical science is that cortisol levels actually decreased by 60%. Imagine being 60% less stressed or 14% less of a jerk or being able to breathe 70% more efficiently. The study doesn't even go into the benefits of visualization or meditation, but what we are really looking at here is breathing and how to get the most out of our lives. So now that we understand the value of priming, let's look at Tony Robbins and how he actually suggests combining not just breathing, but also visualization. Number one, find a place to sit down with good posture, head back, chest up, feet on the floor. And then we're gonna do three sets of 30 breaths with a pause in between each set for about a minute. Number three, you're gonna put your hands on your heart and then you're gonna breathe there for about 30 seconds. Number four is you're gonna think about something really simple you're thankful for and then two things that are a little bit larger that you can also be thankful for. Number five, we're gonna visualize positivity or light kind of entering your body for about a minute and a half. And then number six, we're gonna visualize sharing that energy out with the people you love and employees and the people you work with. And then finally, number seven, we're gonna actually visualize uh, ourselves kind of having all of this already done and kind of our success throughout the day. So we're gonna sit, we're gonna breathe, we're gonna visualize gratitude, light, sharing, giving, and visualization. So that's it. That's the science of priming. So make it a part of your day so that you don't wake up and let your emotions just get hijacked by all that cortisol influx from both just waking up and from your phone. So if you got some value out of this, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications for when I release new content. Thank you for watching, subscribe, be well, work hard, and always empower the best in others.